Financial freedom, baby. What does that look like to you? To me, financial freedom is when your monthly passive income exceeds your monthly expenses. I see a lot of people all the time, they go out and buy cars, clothes, jewelry, all sorts of stuff before they even think about buying an asset. You know what happens after they do that? They drain all of their monthly income, they drain all of their income from their nine to five, from their business, and they're stuck running that rat race. Why? Because they have a car payment, they have all these different payments. They get a paycheck and they spend it very quickly. What you have to do, you have to be disciplined. Take five, 10 years of your life, a very short period of time, five years, for example, and buy an asset. Buy an asset, buy one, buy two, buy three, buy as many as you're comfortable with buying or can afford with what income you have coming in, and then take that passive income and go buy jewelry, go buy that nice car that you're looking for. That's when the snowball effect happens. That's when you can start building your wealth tree. You cannot do it by doing the opposite and buying liabilities first. What liabilities do, does is it drains your pocket. It really does drain your bank account to where you're left with nothing and you're, then you're stuck, you're getting older and older, and then all of a sudden you can't buy an asset because all your money is out the door to that fancy car you're driving, to all that clothing, that jewelry, and everything that you're doing. You wanna buy assets first, and that's how you reach financial freedom is when you buy assets that produce cash flow. That cash flow can be used to then buy that car that you wanted, buy that dream car, go on the trips that you always wanted to go on, and that monthly income that passive monthly income is always gonna come. But as I mentioned, if you do the opposite and you buy liabilities first, you're gonna be stuck in a trap, you're gonna be running that rat race, whether you work a nine to five, or if you own your own business, you can still run that rat race because you can suck all your money out, not put it in assets, and you're still running on that wheel, trying to create that income, and nothing's coming about it because all of it is is coming in, and it's going out, to, and you're just going out and doing whatever you want with it, not focusing on it, and the day you stop working is the day that money stops coming in. But if you buy assets first, focus on assets, you can stop working and money's still gonna come in. And it's gonna build and build and build year after year after year. So I want you guys to really focus on what you're doing, where you're spending your money, take a short period of your life, five years, and that will change your life significantly for the next 30, 40, 50 years, I promise you. So that's my tip on assets and liabilities. If you guys really wanna reach financial freedom, take a short period of time in your life, five to 10 years, stay very disciplined, very focused on the end goal, because five years will go just like that. And when that happens, you can be in a good position or you can be in the same position you are five years before that, and nothing's gonna change unless you do. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, give it a like, comment in the comment section below. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. When is the best time to buy real estate? There's a lot of people sitting at home on the couch, investors who are waiting for the market to correct. And what I say to that is, when you have a target in sight, don't fall asleep behind the trigger. And what I mean by that is, if there's a property out there in this hot market today that fits your buying criteria, why are you gonna pass up on it? Buy that.